just take a quick question. Uh, so uh, I am from Sri Lanka and uh, currently employed in the UAE. So my question is, uh, while uh, sending the remittance to my country back, uh, so it's very common to send it to uh, uh, unofficial uh, channels, which is like the other people in between to send the money. So there are uh, ne negative effects uh, for my country, which is like this uh, results in uh, inflation and all. So these, for the past two years, my country has been hit with uh, huge inflation. So I just want to know if, uh, so if I send it to these illegal channels, uh, I obviously I have an advantage. So I just want to check if I should uh, remit the money to only uh, official uh, banks. Uh, we do not endorse anything that is illegal. <clears throat> so anything that goes against the laws of the country is haram. This is point number one. Point number two, transferring your money from one country to the other with exchanging the currency is not permissible unless the institution you're doing this with is something that has a credible weight, such as a bank, <clears throat> which is to be trusted. And the bank usually does the exchange instantaneously, on the spot. So you give him uh, uh, dirhams, he converts it, and he says, okay, this amount of dirhams will be transferred into this amount of uh, rupees. I don't know what you guys use in Sri Lanka. And we will take 70 dirhams transfer charge. This is permissible because the exchange is done instantaneously. You authorize the bank to transfer. While in the case of this covert agent <clears throat> who's doing it secretly and illegally, you're giving him the dirhams and he is taking it through his own ways or through someone he knows there after two, three days and giving it to your family or to your friend. And this is not permissible. To make it permissible Islamically, you have to go to his office in Dubai, give him the dirhams while, he's on the while you're on the phone with your relative or your brother in Colombo in his office. So you say, okay, I'm giving him 10,000 um, uh, dirhams. And the guy there gives your brother the equivalent that you've agreed upon in rupees on the same spot. This is halal Islamically, but it does not exempt you from the sin of breaking the law.